I'm going to do a little quick short video on uh, the Wilson Combat Vickers sights for Glocks. Um, I got a set uh, for my G26, which is a great little gun that uh, has far surpassed my expectations of uh, what a tiny little ugly little pug-like thing like this is actually pretty cool. Um, I got the red fiber optic front, which I opted for. You can get just plain black or you can get green fiber optic. They have uh, night and they have a gold bead, I believe. Um, the only things I could say negatively about them would be the front sight. Um, fit in there a little bit loose in the hole, and to me it should be machine perfect for that hole in the, in the top of the slide where you put the screw in. Um, if you're not familiar with how to install Glock sights, I have uh, a video on putting True Glow night sights on a G17, um, which I actually you know, did a uh, film of me actually doing it. Um, these I didn't because, yeah, the, you know, a Glock's a Glock is a Glock, so the sights are going to go on the same way. Um, the differences were the True Glow front sight fit tighter, and this one had some play in it. Um, I put some blue Loctite on the uh, screw and stuff, and it hasn't moved. I've put a couple hundred rounds through it, and, and I've been carrying this um, steadily since I bought it in the summer. Uh, now that we're into winter, I'm still carrying it. Um, it works great with a short jacket. You can still, you know, pull your garment up. But anyway, um, that's the one thing I really didn't like. Um, the other thing that was kind of difficult was the back sight. I actually needed to have some material removed with a file um, before I could uh, knock it in there, which the True Glow went in just firm enough to hold it. And then, of course, it had the set screw. This has got two screws uh, to hold it in, but it's not going anywhere. So there was a little extra effort um, to get it in there. I used a brass um, punch. Um, and it turned out great. You know, I really, really like that uh, fiber optic, and I really like the U-notch. I didn't know if I would, um, but I wanted to try something different over the three-dot sights that I typically use on my 1911s and stuff like that. So I went this route, and I give them two thumbs up. Um, I think it's a good sight. So far, it's worked out great for me, um, except for the, you know, the two things I just told you about. Okay, here's a closer look at those Wilson Combat Vicker sights. I got the red front. Didn't know if I'd like them, but I like—I really do like them. They uh, have worked out really well. Um, I think they're a lot easier to use than the Glock sights. So I give them two thumbs up, except for the uh, caveats that I spoke about before. Um, they go on like any Glock sights. So anyway, there's just a quick view of that on the G26. And uh, I did get the uh, suggested heights, and they seem to be regulated good for the way I shoot. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with them. I give them two thumbs up.